Hello all. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to learn about uh, multiplication of matrix and how we are going to implement that in our C language. So here the question is write a C program that uses functions to perform multiplication of matrix. So previously we in, uh, in the previous lectures, we had already seen functions for addition of matrix, right? So in the similar fashion here also I was using functions for calculating the uh, multiplication of a matrix. So what are our requirements here is we want two matrices matrix A and matrix B or matrix 1 matrix 2 and the resultant will be stored in matrix 3. Right. So as usual, again, you require the columns rows uh, of matrix A, matrix B. And uh, one more important condition when you are trying to do multiplication is always your uh, columns of matrix one should be equal to the rows of matrix two. Only then you are uh, able to do the matrix multiplication or else you can't do the matrix multiplication. Right. So that rule we will follow. If suppose they are not equal then you will tell that uh, simply matrix multiplication is not possible if they are equal then you will go on to the process of calculating the uh, matrix multiplication okay so right so as usual we are starting with our hash include stdio.h then starting with our main so simply i had created a matrix multiplication function which is not going to return anything because I'm printing whole uh, resultant matrix in that particular function only, right? As a, I'm returning int main here, I had written return zero, right? So when our compiler executes or compiles this program, our cursor comes here, right? Matrix multiplication, automatically our cursor move from there to particular function. What is our particular function here? Matrix multiplication. So after entering into this, what all I had declared here is, int row 1, column 1, row 2, column 2. That is for the first matrix, row 1 and column 1. And for the second matrix, row 2 and column 2. Right. Next, I'm asking user to enter number of rows and columns for the first matrix. So that one I'm storing into row 1 and column 1. As they are int uh, integer values, I had given the uh, percentile D and percentile D access specifiers. Right. Next, I'm asking user to enter number of rows and columns for the second matrix. So you will read the uh, row values and column value, column value into row two and column two for the second matrix. Right. Next, what I'm do, uh, what I'm doing is I'm declaring uh, two matrices, three matrices, and also few variables like i, j, k for the looping purpose. Right. Next. I'm asking user to enter the elements for first matrix. So as usual, we need one row and one column, right? So if I if I just consider two by two matrix, right? I wanted to do multiplication of two by two matrix. So that time for i is equals to zero, i less than row one. So what is my row one now? Uh, size is two by two, right? So two, uh, two rows and two columns. Right. So less than two condition is true. So then you will enter into this uh, nested for loop here. What you will do, you are initializing J value to zero and you are taking the column size. So column size also, I, as I said, I had given two. So zero is less than two condition is true. Then you will enter into the for loop. So what I'm doing, I'm reading all those values into M1. So here M1 is nothing but my first matrix. So I is rows and J is columns. Uh, this one I had explained already in your previous lectures how you are going to consider each value in a matrix. That is A of 0, 0. That is 0, uh, 0th row and 0th column value. Like that I had uh, said you in detail in the previous lecture when we are doing transpose and also the addition. In similar fashion, you will store all the values into matrix 1. Right. So matrix one zero zero eighth element, whatever value you will give, it will store there. Next matrix one zero the first column value that one will be stored. Next, what will happen? You will move to the second uh, row. So second row zero uh, eighth value there you will store and second row first value there you will store. Right. So like that, you will store the first matrix values after storing that I was uh, I just wanted to print it in the form of matrix. That is what are the rows you had given, what are the columns, column values you had given. So I'm just trying to print those values by using this for loop. 
here you had read the values and here you are displaying it in the form of matrix so reading the matrix uh, values first you will read the rows the columns and then you will read the matrix one and then you will you are trying to display so there you are reading so i had used their scanf and here i wanted to print so i'm uh, i'm just using the printf right and then next what we are trying Next, we want us, we wanted to read the second matrix elements. So what we did in the first matrix, same thing we will do again in the second matrix. So I is equals to zero, I less than row two, J is equals to zero, J less than column two. You will read the column size and row size. And according to that, you will read it into the second matrix. Matrix zero, zero value, matrix two, zero, one value, matrix one, zero value, uh, one, zero value, matrix one, one value. As uh, for the example, which I had considered as two by two matrix, right? So there you will store the value. And then in the next for loop, I'm just printing those values. So scan if you are reading the above for loop, in the second uh, for loop, you are just trying to print. So now what all we got? We read the matrix values of matrix one and matrix two. And then at the same time, you are printing those values, right? So till there, it is common. So no need of any logic. So, and also if you don't want it to print also, no problem, not, not an issue. But I personally wanted to show how those matrices will be there. What are the values, how it is going to uh, calculate, right? So that is the reason I had printed over here. But even if you don't write also, it is not a problem, but you should have an idea there, right? Next. So here comes our logic actually. If column one is equals to row two, as I said, always your matrix have the columns, uh, columns of first matrix should be equal to row of the second matrix. Only then you will be able to do the matrix multiplication. If not, matrix multiplication is not possible, right? So for that reason, first I'm checking out if column one is equals to row two. If it is equal, I'm, I'm taking example as two by two matrix. So obviously uh, two by two, I mean, this uh, rows and columns of first and second matrix are equal. So I'm, I'll, I'll be able to perform the logic, right? So how we are going to perform is for I is equals to zero, I less than row one, I plus plus. Next, for J is equals to zero, J less than column two, j plus plus so what we are doing here is you will consider how you will do the multiplication actually if i had matrix a is equals to one two three four right and matrix b is equals to same values i'll take one two three four right so how you will do the multiplication first i wanted to go to a of zero 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 element and B of 0, 0 element, right? First, I need to multiply that value. And next, what should I do? I should increment this value. Next value is there, no? This row, I have to move to 2, right? My cursor should move to from 1. It should move to the 2. That is second column value. And also the second rowth value of your B. B matrix, right? So at the same time, I have to do addition of those both values. So that is the reason here we are using this third for loop. Till now, we had seen only two for loops. One is for your uh, column, uh, sorry, columns and rows and also that positioning, right? Here in this matrix multiplication, what we are trying to do is you will try at the same time. That is, you'll do multiplication at the same time you are iterating the value and also you are adding that value, right? So for that reason, you are using this K for loop. Before this, I'm, I'm making my uh, result in matrix. That is matrix 3 is equals to 0 because I need to store the resultant value into matrix 3, right? So what I, first I'll initialize that to 0 and I'll just update the values. So if you'll just closely observe, after entering and reading these column values, see, for k is equals to 0 and k less than column 1. So, this third loop, as I said, uh, it is for number of expressions to add. How many values are there? How many times I need to add that one, right? Multiplication, addition, multiplication, addition. So, for that reason, we are using here this one. Right, so k is equals to zero, k less than column one. Yes, obviously it will be less than column one. M three of ij, m three of ij is 
m3 of 0 0 so our resultant will also be of four values that is two by two matrix only you will get right so that is the reason we are making the first value m3 0 0 at the value what we are doing we are adding some value what is that some value you are trying to multiply a 0 0 th element with b 0 0 th element and you are adding a 0 1 value with b 1 0 value that is what we did here m3 of ij which is 0 0 plus matrix 1 what is I, I value? I value is initialized to 0. What is my K value? K value is also 0, which means M1 of 0, 0. So that is nothing but first matrix 0, 0 at the element into, into M2. M2 is my second matrix. Kj. K is 0. What is the J value? J is also 0 right so now what will happen so our value is being multiplied with first element of the ma uh, first matrix and also the first element of your second matrix next after multiplication what will happen your k value will be incremented to 1 previously it had 0 right now it will become 1 1 less than column 1 so column 1 is we had to 2 right yes condition is true next you will come and you will do here m3 of ij value previously what do we have 1 into 1 i took 1 2 3 4 for a matrix 1 2 3 4 for b matrix right so 1 into 1 i had previously 1 in my m3 of ij next plus what i am doing mi of k mi of k is what i value is 0 so 0 at value 0 at the plus k value is 1. So what will happen? First row 0 at the row right and k value is 1. So this second element will be multiplied with B2. Uh, sorry M2 is nothing but our second matrix. Second matrix k value is 1 and j value is 0. So now what will happen? You will move to this second row of the first column. So previously we had 1. That is first term, first term multiplied plus this 2 into 3. So it will become 6 now. Right? So now next again what will happen? Your k value will be incremented. Now your k value will become 2 which is not uh, correct. Right? What is our column value? It is 2 I had given. So 2 less than 2 condition false. So what will happen? Again you will come out of that. J, uh, you will go back to that I loop. And there your I value will be incremented. So now what will happen? You will come back to 3 and 4 values. And you will do repeat the same process. This is what the actual logic we are doing for the matrix. So if you will just remember this one particular line. Matrix multiplication program will be done. What you have to remember? First, you will, uh, the resultant matrix, you will make it completely as zero, right? For And uh, you will take matrix one, ik value, matrix two, kj value. That is, first you will consider uh, i is row, second column we want, right? So, matrix rows into columns, right? So, that one we want. And k is used for summing. How many times we wanted to do addition of that particular expression that is used for the k for loop. That two lines, if you will just remember, these two lines particularly, if you will remember, whole matrix pro, uh, uh, multiplication will be clear and perfect. Right. So after doing all that, I'm just trying to print the resultant matrix. So my, now my resultant is available in my m3 matrix so i'm just printing that m3 matrix printf slash n if suppose if suppose my rows are not equals to columns uh, that is the number of um, columns of my first matrix is not equals to the number of rows in second matrix then i'll tell simply matrix multiplication is not possible right so this else condition even if you can write it in the front that uh, um 
if number of rows or uh, number of columns are not equal to rows, then matrix is not possible. And then else part, you can write the logic. But I had written first the logic and then else part, right? So first, uh, this is what the logic of matrix multiplication. And finally, after the execution of this uh, function, you will come back to, that is, you will come out of this matrix multiplication and enter into the main. So no other statements are there. Simply return 0 is there. You will quit from this program right so let us compile this code and check it out once so those two are warnings nothing will happen right so, enter number of rows and columns so i'm giving same two by two with what i had uh, said the example two by two matrix for the second also i'm it is asking enter elements for the first matrix so i'm giving same one two three four See how it was printed. First matrix is that's what I said. I just wanted to show the representation that how the matrix values are being stored. All right. And next, uh, enter elements for the second uh, matrix. I wanted to give same values. One, two, three, four. See, the second matrix is also printed. So the resultant of the first matrix and second matrix. One into one. It is one plus. Uh, what should I do? One. 3, right? Yes, next 2 into 3, 6. So, 6 plus 1, 7. So, the first matrix M3 of 0, 0 is 7, right? So, like that, you need to do the calculation of this matrix. Clear? So, I think I'm clear. We'll just try with the not equals to column also, right? Uh, compile, execute. So, I'm giving... Um, 2, 2 by 2 I will give and uh, 3 by 2 I will give. Enter the number of elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 I want here. The matrix multiplication is possible. Right? It is like your 3 by 2. Done? See? Check it out here once. I had given 2 by 2 and the uh, number of rows for second column is 3 by 2, right? So, here the first, uh, closely observe, here the first rows, uh, I mean, sorry, first matrix column is not equals to the second matrix column, right? So, at that time, what will happen? You cannot do the multiplication. So, that is the reason it is telling matrix multiplication is not possible. Right. Whenever if the first row columns and second row uh, rows are equal, only then the matrix multiplication is possible. This is what I just wanted to show. If the columns are not uh, sorry, the column of first matrix and second matrix is not equal to. Right. If it is equal, then you will get the output. OK, so hope this uh, uh, program is clear for everyone. Right. Thank you for listening. Thank you all.